Hi, I'm Dr. Sunil Richardson, which is doing a hair transplantation inside 3,500 follicles FUE. 21 years old guy. We're near the final stages. It just come out to record this video. I'm going to try and tell you how this hair transplantation works. Is it safe? And how can you be sure about the results? One of the things we follow at Richardson's first up is safety. Very essential. Number one point we do in the operating theater. We have anesthesiologist, constant monitoring, and a teamwork. Experience definitely needed, but all of these things are also needed. Now, coming quickly to how it's done. Very simply, it's like removing a plant from one place with the root and everything in totality and keeping it in another location, okay? So we're gonna take the hair follicle. Hair follicle also has a bulb, which is the root. So the entire thing must be removed. Therefore, the technique to remove that has to be precise. You shouldn't damage the follicle. They're very tiny. So you're gonna wear magnifying glasses or you're gonna wear loops and then remove that. First thing. Second thing is just like how you would put a plant into a new location, you need to make sure that the ground is fertile, it's well watered, it's not in the direct sunlight, especially for the first few days. Similarly here, after we take the follicle out, we're gonna keep it in a sterile, in a sterile petri dish on ice so that it stays alive. If you would keep it just like that in the not adequate temperature, it can die. So there's no point taking it up perfectly but letting it die before it goes into its destination, right? We can't take this and then directly put it. We take it, collect a lot, keep it, and then go and place it back. So that's the second thing. How correctly do you place it? So just like how you would place a plant, you would have to dig it up. So depending on the plant, the depth and everything, put the manure, water, keep it absolutely ready and then you do the transplantation. The same, absolutely the same thing happens here. After the follicles are removed or harvested, they're segregated, separated, to know which are double, triple and single to design the new hairline. Thereafter, a few of them that may not have done it are rejected. The good ones are all arranged for tongue blades and these are handed over to the people who are actually doing the transplantation. Right, so this is the tech. I'm going to show you, we're near the end of this case, so you can have a look and uh, see how it's done exactly. So, we're doing the last step now. We finished about 3,400, which is the last bit. And this is what I was saying about the follicles being arranged. So all of these other instruments are all done because we're winding up kind of. And you see those are the follicles in the petri dish in the right temperature. This after it's harvested, it's placed on the tongue blade. And then this is handed over to the persons who are then doing the transplantation. All right, we can go and have a look at it closer. Uh, okay, you can just, yeah. So we're gonna first show you the area that the transplantation is done. So you can see that's the area where it's getting done. So the slits have been made. The slits are like you make the depressions where these follicles go in. Again, it's very similar to the plant that I told you moving about the plants like transplantation. Okay, um, one second, just hold on. We're gonna show them. Uh, light it. Okay, the lift panga. All right. Uh, yeah, so you see those are the areas from where we've harvested the follicles. Yes, there is some ooze. We will be stopping all of that at the time of dressing. And then on the third day, that dressing will be removed. All right, you can put that. So the follicles, the patient first lies down like that. You take the follicles and that goes in the petri dish and the team then sorts it out. Then we take it back again and then a couple of us are always transplanting it. So this is like 4.15, so it's almost five hours now. We had a break for lunch in between. Um, yes, the sooner you can do it with a very good team, I think the results are better. The hours that the follicles are outside, as much as that can be reduced is another factor. How precisely you harvest is another very important factor. And how efficiently you're able to put them back in is another good factor. There's another factor, the most important thing is how the patient takes care of these follicles in the initial few hours and few days. 
we give them adequate instructions and if they follow then they're able to have a new crown after six to eight months okay thank you